In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five hanging options with heart shaped balloon infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click the first balloon comes, you can see here, this photo is hanging with the heart shaped balloon. I have added some shadow effect. When I click a second balloon comes with a different color, and then you can change the image uh, as per your requirement. Then the third, fourth, and fifth. Likewise, I have created two more slides where i have created you can see a somewhat bigger size of the heart shaped balloon then comes the second one third and fourth and i've created one more where you can add your text as well and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to insert shapes and i'm going to choose the heart shape here draw the heart shape maybe this much size and depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the size and then shape outline i'm going to make it no outline and shape fill you can choose any color of your choice then i would like to give some shining effect here at the top so i'm just going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d then i'm going to insert again shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape like this on top of the heart the top part of the heart only and then i'm going to select the heart shape hold the shift key select the oval shape go to the merge shape i'm going to intersect and i'm going to bring it here and then this one i'm going to make the color as white and i'm going to put it here like this all right maybe you can reduce the size a little bit from both the places from the left and the right and put it exactly in the center here and then right mouse click go to format shapes under fill i'm going to select the gradient fill and gradient fill i'm going to delete two stops i'm going to keep it only two the first stop i'm going to select and make it a white color and the second also i'm going to choose the white color then scroll it down you can see the transparency i'm going to make it 100 percent here or you can keep it a little bit and for this one if you want you can increase the transparency or you can leave it like this so uh, this shape is ready now then i'm going to add one triangle at the bottom let me just zoom in you can see here i'm just going to draw a triangle like this and i'm going to keep it here shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to give the same color then right mouse click edit points and here at the center i'm going to add one point or what we can do is we can just select this one and just say smooth point and this also select and make it a smooth point like this and here i can make it somewhat down this one drag it somewhat down so we end up getting a shape something like this all right so once this is done i'm going to select all this press ctrl g to group it so once this is done i'm going to insert shapes i'm going to select one rectangle draw a rectangle by holding the shift key so that you get a perfect uh, a square shape and then shape outline i'm going to give somewhat gray and you can go to the line here and increase the width depending on your requirement you can see here something like this all right and then this one i'm going to fill this with some image so go to picture or texture fill click insert click online pictures and you can just choose any picture for example i'm going to search for the party it's taking some time yeah so i'm just going to type some party or celebration or whatever you can see here whichever image which you feel uh, better just choose that one and uh, click on the insert so i'm just going to say maybe i'm going to select this one click on insert the image has been added here scroll down and remove this tick mark here and then if you want to increase the right left top bottom whatever 
you can just change it and then i'm going to tilt it a little bit even though i'm tilting the image is not rotating you can see that one so that's the importance here and then if you want i can we can reduce the size further then i'm going to keep it here then go to insert shapes i'm going to choose this line and this line from here i'm going to click it till here and shape outline i can make it maybe uh, this one all right and here let me just zoom in let me just put it like this here till this corner and then go to insert shapes i'm going to use this scribble to uh, make a kind of a knot you can see here i can just make it like this and double click this and you can just increase the size maybe the same two quarter all right so like this you can make it and then i'm going to select all press ctrl g to group it and then i'm going to put it here one press ctrl d to duplicate bring it here select this one then change the color according to your choice this one also i'm going to choose the same color and here you can come go to insert online pictures and you can choose some for example i'm just going to choose some different background so i can just choose any background of my choice click insert so that image has been inserted here all right and if you like to uh, rotate this shape something like this then you can rotate it and you can put it like this here and then i can just move it like this press ctrl d to duplicate move it somewhat up again select this one change the color to some other color this color also i'm going to change all right so like this depending on your requirement how many uh, options you need you can just add it here so maybe i'm going with four and then this one i'm going to choose this color so you can see here we have uh, completed the slide and if you like to change the background uh, you can select the gradient fill and the first one i'm going to choose as white and the second i'm going to choose maybe somewhat light gray color the type i'm going to make it as radial and then i'm going to choose the from center so you can see here like this you can make it so once this is done what you can do is you can do the animations go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select all by holding the shift key add animation i can make it fly in you can see here and then this one depending on your requirement you need uh on mouse click or with previous after previous it's up to you so if i say on click and if i play it comes like this you can see here and if you like to give some kind of some effects here you can increase the bounce end okay and click okay so it comes something like this